British journalist Sir David Frost has died suddenly aged 74. He was best known for an interview in which former United States President Richard Nixon said he had let the country down. Frost's list of interviewees included the most famous and powerful people, such as six British Prime Ministers and seven US Presidents. Well, we know that the family has said that he was on board the cruise ship Queen Elizabeth and right to the last, as I think everyone probably would have predicted about David Frost, he was working, he was due to give a speech on that cruise ship here at 74 and according to all accounts this is very much a surprise. Stephen Fry has tweeted that he only was in touch with him a matter of about a day ago and that they were discussing plans and he was very excited about moving house and so forth and there are others who have said the same, that he seemed to be in very good health so this is definitely sudden and as such is seen as very much of a shock and the mourning that has come today in regards to that is, re is reflective of that shock. David was a great family man, you know, immensely proud. Great husband and father and so my sympathy goes to the family. He dominated British broadcasting for 50 years. I mean, I remember as a young teenager watching that was the week that was and just being mesmerized by his talents and then of course as you said he also did very serious journalism the, the, the wonderful the nixon interviews amongst many others of course okay. he did light entertainment he did current events um he was almost the uh, the most variously talented journalist in british broadcasting history and we've all grown up with him and lived with him um his loss will be immense to all of us most recently, he had his own program on the international network Al Jazeera English. But for years, he was the staple of BBC morning television. Breakfast with Frost, which he would end with his signature sign-off. Do join us again at the same time next week. Until then, top of the morning, good morning. He'd become a true global star. A man whom celebrities, world leaders and the rest actually wanted to be interviewed by, even if they knew it might be uncomfortable. So far it's been, you know, pretty much of a disaster. It, it, it has been, you see. He was equally at home sitting opposite Hamid Karzai as he was next to Isabel Allende. Such was his charm, his presence, that he was impossible not to like. Despite his fame, he always had as much time for a colleague in the corridor as he did a serving Prime Minister. No ego at all. Amazing because of the amount of people that he dealt with on a daily basis. People he knew by first name terms, some of the top people in the world, you know, statesmen, celebrities. He knew them all and yet he was still just an ordinary guy. Really very nice man. David Cameron said, my heart goes out to Karina and the family. Sir David was an extraordinary man with charm, wit, talent, intelligence and warmth in equal measure. He made a huge impact on television and politics. The Nixon interviews were among the great broadcast moments, but there were many other brilliant interviews. He could be, and certainly was with me, both a friend and a fearsome interviewer. Later, David Frost helped launch TVAM, one of its famous five presenters. Hello, good morning, and welcome to TVAM. The launch was a fiasco. He presented ITV's Through the Keyhole. The show that delves in the shelves, looks at the books, and explores in the drawers of the noted and noteworthy. What did you make of the way Frost, the formidable interrogator, was becoming Frost, the collector of celebrities. He could still be persistent, as when quizzing Mrs. Thatcher about the sinking of the Belgrano in the Falklands War. I mean, that, the fact that it was going in a completely different direction, it wasn't, as he said, closing in. Do you in. know ships do zigzag? Yeah, but it didn't zigzag. But ships do change direction. Yeah, that didn't, ship didn't, though, did, did change direction. On that day, when the government said it changed direction many times, it only changed direction once to go back home and a 10 degree difference to get closer to a Argentina. A ship is torpedoed. And he could still yeah, wrong yeah, foot yeah. interviewees with a deceptively yeah, simple question. So on. I mean, do you pray together? Pray together? Hmm. How, how do you mean? Do you say prayers together for peace? You and the President. Well, we don't say prayers together, no, but I'm sure he, in his way, hopes for peace and I hope for peace too. And in terms he was able to get answers out of people that nobody else could get. 
and he got them by a lifetime of application and thought about the art of interviewing. Nobody was better than him. Big names queued up to be interviewed by a man almost as famous as they were. He's one of those very, very rare people with whom you could tell the history of the last 50 years in terms of the people he's met, the people he's interviewed uh, and the programmes he's done. And remarkably, his fame lasted a lifetime.